peaceful outside in our backyard. So we're grilling chicken, ribs, and I've got some beef hot dogs that I'm looking forward to also. But Cecile's not impressed with the hot dogs. Plain. Too plain. She likes marinated. But in the Philippines and the street vendors, they always have a lot of hot dogs. So I know I'm not yeah. the only one who likes no, hot dogs on the grill. The for the kids. Oh, that's for the kids? Yeah. <laughs> I really like the beef hot dogs on the grill. To me, those are really good. But in Philippines, you have to be careful because they have a wrapper on the hot dog. <laughs> Remember, I put some in the microwave and it kind of blew up on us. I didn't know, or I forgot that you had to remove the plastic wrapper. All the hot dogs there have that? All so. the ones we bought do, I guess. I don't know. But normally, there is Yeah, kind of blew up. I will interview you. You want to be interviewed? I was reading a lot of the comments from the video about the... Uh, they removed seven of the 14 days from the quarantine if you were vaccinated in Philippines. I was reading a lot of the comments, people kind of saying it's a joke, not my words, and saying uh, ridiculous or, you know, it does nothing for anybody, that kind of stuff, and really kind of saying it's a dumb move by the government and all that. The advantage that they have uh, other vloggers and commenters to our channels, they can speak freely about some of the stuff that I can't. You can, but you don't like to complain too much. But for me, I can't really say too much about criticizing or bad-mouthing somebody else's government. I complain a little bit. Stuff that affects us as as foreigners yeah, not you but as me as a foreigner ballot mine yeah i keep it to myself a lot of the times because it's not my place it's not my place to complain uh, or criticize i can complain i guess i don't have to like it if it's something that uh, affects foreign travelers or ballot mines i guess i complain a little bit yeah, we don't have a brush yet for the grill. That's okay. That will work. We'll get one. So you may notice I'm not too critical in some of the news reports and stuff that come out because I really can't be. I could be, but I'd get criticized the other direction for complaining and talking bad about the government decisions and all that but man I can complain about the US government all I want the only one I have to answer to is YouTube they'll kick me off tomorrow if I start complaining about the government so I don't say too much about that either <laughs> everybody that I watch on YouTube has been removed from YouTube pretty much so that's why I don't say too much of the wrong thing to get myself in trouble and I don't like the idea of criticizing and, and Philippines and government. Also, you don't want to be like people like too much. Yeah, I don't want to be a complainer. I don't want all my videos to be negativity complaining because everybody knows the situation about everything. Yeah, and, and every, every, everyone has opinions. Yeah. So I just kind of I just put the information out there and then they can complain and uh, criticize in the comments and I'll give them a heart or a thumbs up. <laughs> so I just deliver the news. I have a spy plane going overhead right now. Not really. Not showing up on the camera, but it's sure making a lot of noise.
So we'll sit here and cook the food and then we will eat it. So a real old geekster emailed me yesterday. He mentioned, or he suggested doing live video while cooking. So I'm kind of imagining if we're out here cooking and doing live video, I kind of like the idea. We can sit here and cook the food, and then when the food's done cooking, we can end the live stream. Did you flip? No, I didn't flip it. I just looked at it. Yeah, this would make a good live show. Might have to consider that. Live grilling. to try to work that out or we can do that grill and do live video good idea Mike Great advantages of living near an airport. You get to listen to planes fly over all the time. When I was young, my grandparents lived right next to the railroad tracks. And we used to hear the train go by all the time and the, the uh, crossing alarm would go off all the time for the cars to stop. And then sometimes the windows would shake a little bit when the train went by. No, you, got, you kind of get used to it. And, a lot of times it was late at night when you'd stay the weekend or something. And after a while you kind of just don't even pay attention to it. Sometimes you don't even really realize the train just went by. You get used to it, I guess. Sort of like uh, you get used to the stuff in the Philippines, like the motorcycles and all that. You just kind of forget about it after a while. Block it out. Karaoke. This would be a perfect time for one of our neighbors to start singing White Christmas or something like that. Or Jingle Bells. So which one? Which country is more enjoyable at Christmas? Which country is more enjoyable at Christmas time? I would say some people might get mad at me. I would say the U.S. US. Yeah. The reason why is because, to me, Christmas, I like the cold weather, chance of snow, and yeah. also the gift exchange is a big deal here. Philippines, it's not really. Um, we give out a lot of gifts, but you don't have a lot of exchange back and forth with gifts. We have more, I think, traditions and fun stuff for the kids at Christmas yeah. time here. I think Christmas is more fun if you have yeah. kids. Yeah, and then when you ask Liam, he's enjoying here. Yeah, Liam likes Christmas here. Um, they do, a, in some areas, I can't speak for the entire U.S., but I think Philippines does a better job decorating and celebrating Christmas. But as far as traditions and family fun type stuff. I kind of like it here better. I'm not used to hot weather at Christmas also. Mm -hmm. yeah. Have an inflatable uh, Santa Claus words. and it's 80 degrees outside. Yeah. Fireworks. When, yeah. when we're at the balcony, it's really hot. Yeah. You can smell the smoke. Yeah. And then they start telling you Merry Christmas on September 1st, so by the time Christmas rolls around, you're kind of worn out, numb to the whole Christmas season thing. But it's enjoyable. It's a good time of year to be there because the weather's nice. It's not that hot. And you get to see a lot of Christmas lights. Not done yet.
haven't even started the hot dogs yet. That's the main course. The chicken and ribs is just appetizer. But here you can't, you can't get sweaty. You don't sweat as much here? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not as hot. But not as humid. The humidity is what gets you there. But we have a lot of fun there. I was I'm making a video. I guess I can tell them uh, about our one-year YouTube anniversary is July 5th. So I'm making a, like a year highlights video, year in review. So I'm looking at all the footage of stuff that we made in Philippines. And I'm thinking, man, we did about three years worth of stuff in two months there. <laughs> we definitely have a lot more adventures and stuff there. And every day you don't really know what to you expect guys, will happen. You guys like to go to yeah. But you don't, things pop up there all the time and changes your whole day or your whole plans. Here, I can pretty much tell you what's going to happen every day of the week. Your week doesn't change much. But there, you don't know what to expect. Hey, you have you have work and also Liam. But we don't go like in the Philippines, we go to the beach almost every week. We're not doing that here. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of tourism there, but also I'm not working when we're there. Yeah, but here we don't go. We go to the park. We go places yeah. close by. We don't have any beach around here. And now we have a helicopter. So I've seen two planes and a helicopter. But not only do we have an airport nearby, we have a hospital right across the highway. So we get medical flights sometimes coming in and out. Every once in a while we get a police helicopter. chicken off the grill and we will eat now. Thanks for watching. Take care. See you on the next video. I'll give you. No, I want and there's that. the chicken. Yes. The chicken. The chicken's done. I'll give you chicken. That's the chicken. That's the chicken. Yes.